Welcome back my fellow gamers, we are starting a new series on my channel, and that channel is called Know Your Character or Know Your Anime, whatever I choose, I'm most likely going to go with new characters, or Know Your Characters, just to really more people drawing more attention, but you know. So, today we're going to be talking about Jump Force and the character, and the new character that is in there, and that is Izuku Midoriya, Midoriya, Izuku Midoriya. I better known as Deku in the My Hero Academia fandom. Well, preferably Deku. But yeah, if you don't know what My Hero Academia is, My Hero Academia is a an is a super superhero anime cr created by sorry if I butcher his name Horikoshi, and it's basically so and it's a whole world that has superpowers or quirks. They call it quirks in the anime, but we all know that we call it superpowers because you know why not? It's superpowers, but they call it quirks. But yeah, um. So basically, Deku is the main character. He's the protagonist of the anime, and he's one. Of, I'm gonna go on a tangent. He's one of my favorite anime characters. I'm sorry, Goku, but and also, but he, Deku became one of my favorite ca ca characters. I can't speak today. He became one of my favorite anime characters. And I, after the first episode, bro. After the first episode, I just fell in love with it. But let's get let's get on track. Deku is a kid who was born quirkless when. I believe 80% of the world has quirks and a small percentage does and Deku is that small percentage. He does not have a superpower. We're going to call it superpower, you know, just keep it simple for the people who don't, know, who don't know what My Hero Academia is. But yeah, Deku is essentially born without a quirk. Everybody, he gets bullied. His rival slash friend, quote unquote, tells him you should go kill yourself because you don't have a quirk. That, hey, that's what he said in episode one or two. I remember. I remember that quote. But yeah, uh... But then, essentially, I'm gonna like skip things so you know you can get more attention on this character. But um, essentially, he meets the number one hero, the number one hero named All Might, and then All Might transfer his quirks to Deku, which is called One for All. It's a stockpiling quirk, and Deku is the ninth user, and is essentially when he maxes, he has he's only maxed twenty percent in the manga. In the anime, he's not sure he's. He he used eight percent, but he he, he kind of he can use eight percent the anime, but in the manga he can use twenty percent. But okay, so yeah, essentially if he when he learns how to control one for all, he's got to be the strongest hero or and the strongest user, the strongest one for all user slash superhero in the world. All right. So Deku's personality, he's kind, hard. Yeah, I'm sorry if you just like you know just get, you know this is my first time doing a video like this. But yeah, essentially Deku's smart. Deku is really smart. He analyzes, he analyzes most of the superheroes, including his classmates. He's smart and well, I already said that. Kind hearted. He just he's just a cool character. Like I can't. He's just so amazing, bro. And like I just I'm fanboying. All right, I'm 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 fanboying. So, let's talk about his power, though, which is one for all, which is a power I wish I had, but essentially, one for all is basically, you, you get, it's a, it's like everything a superhero has, essentially, like Spider-Man, Superman, like, he, had, well, he doesn't have spider powers, but like, essentially, yeah, super agility, super strength, super, uh, he can endure, super endure, endure, I already said that, super durability, super strength, super agility, the rundown, the run of the male superhero powers that people have. But the special thing is, he can't increase his power though, which is, is which is like the cool thing about One for All. So there's a thing Deku Deku created a new move called Full Cow. Since every Deku hasn't mastered One for All yet, he can only use 20 20 percent in the manga right now. And we're going by manga standards, not anime standards. Sorry about that for the anime fans. But yeah, um, he can only use 20 percent in the manga, and when he goes to 100 percent, his bones break. He used let me. Every, okay, here's what ah, I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right? I'm just. Yeah, right, I'm sorry. Sorry, but he every time he uses 100%, his bone breaks. So say if he used 100% of his finger, which he has done, he uses it his legs, fingers, thumb, arms. He uses it everywhere. All right, but he ends up breaking his bones, which is why he he created a move called one for all full cowling or full cow, whatever you want to call it. To be honest, but essentially he has. He has 5% full cow, 8% full cow, 20% full cow. I'm doing by I'm just remembering this on top of my head. And infinite 100% or 100% full cow, which technically it's not mastered one for all, it's just him using one for all all throughout 100% throughout his entire body, 
without his bones breaking because spoiler for the manga eerie i can never pronounce her name is constantly rewinding his court so to the point where his bones like heal instantly so yeah he's te that's technically not massive one one for all but it's it's cool bro that transformation looked so cool he had green electricity coming from his eyes it's just oh, i can't wait for anime to adapt that they're gonna adapt that in season four i can't wait because i love the way one for all looks in the anime like the streaks like mm, i just can't wait but yeah that's that's essentially Deku. you know he has super strength he's a cool character i'm, I'm sorry it, this is my first video i'm doing i do my videos non-scripted because why no offense to the people who do scripted videos that's i just don't like doing scripted videos that just seems weird to me like i like to come up with things from the top of my head you know stuff like that but yeah that's deku this is deku in a nutshell Pre a kid who doesn't have the superpowers gets superpowers from them or a hero number one hero can't control his power can't control it at 20 percent fights villains becomes the number one greatest hero that's essentially deku in a nutshell but anyway if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section below like the video subscribe share the video around your friends and can you and can we get this video to three likes please but anyway that's all for today i'll see you all in the next video peace and take care